Hey guys, welcome back to Joel's DIY. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys a little project that I need to uh, work on today. Uh, I have a, I bought a projector and uh, unfortunately it only has VGA plugs. I don't have a more modern one that has like the HDMI stuff. So um, I'm kind of relegated to using the VGA port. Uh, but unfortunately, many of my devices uh, don't have VGA, but they do have uh, component uh, outputs. So uh, what I was thinking of doing today is making a cable uh, to convert um, the component uh, signal into a VGA signal. And that way I can play uh, my, some of my movies and some of my uh, video files uh, through the component uh, and then into the VGA into the projector so uh, what I did today is I picked up uh, this cable it's a it's a uh, it's got the red uh, blue and green and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this in half and I'm also gonna take this VGA cable and I'm gonna cut it in half it's as well and then I'm gonna splice one half from here to here and my hopes is that I can get a, a, a good working uh, cable. Uh, that way I can watch uh, stuff off my DVD player. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. Um, there is a diagram I'm gonna follow uh, that I found online and I'm gonna go ahead and post it right now. So that way, uh, if you want to uh, take a look at it and, and do the same type of project you can, um, but I, I mean, I, I don't perceive this to be too difficult. Hopefully it isn't. And uh, I hopefully can show you uh, if it worked out or not. So stay tuned. So, uh, so far I've been able to successfully strip uh, the cables uh, so that I can figure out what contacts uh, for which and which. Uh, the diagram is slightly different than uh, what I see here in, as far as the colors of the cables. So I'm gonna have to work with that and figure out uh, which ones are which. And then uh, I did get a chance to strip the uh, component cables. And funny enough, the blue one is actually not blue, it's actually green, and the green one's actually blue. So I don't know when they made these cables, if they uh, got the colors mixed up uh, with the actual color of the plug. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I caught that because I didn't wanna make a mistake while I was soldering, so. All right, uh, now it's time to kind of figure out what, how I'm going to connect this with this uh, bushel of cables. So stay tuned. Okay, so uh, I basically finished uh, Frankensteining all the uh, cables. So here we got the blue with the blue. We got the green with the green. So green and green. And then the red with the red uh, and then the ground wires uh, for each plug so what I'm gonna do is uh, because these other uh, wires aren't needed um, for anything in particular I'm just gonna cut them off and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the the shrink wrap that I bought so that I can shield the rest of this and then we're gonna give it a try hopefully it worked uh, all right be right back with that all right, so this is my little projector cart. Um, I have uh, an amplifier for the speakers down there and I got a DVD, VCR, and I also have a Sony media player. Uh, the media player is the, is the uh, thing that I'm gonna use to connect to the VGA signal uh, from the projector there. So I already plugged in uh, the one side of the plug. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the rest to the media player, the Sony media player. So um, let's go ahead and try that right now. Uh, I have the red, blue, and green already plugged into the media player. So it's not a matter of turning it on. Okay, so everything's plugged, everything's ready to go. Got some power on the projector and the media player. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play it against my washing machine um, uh, since I don't wanna get out the uh, screen. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the media player and then I'll turn on the actual projector. Okay. All right, so 
there's the there's the picture. And it worked. Awesome. So my VGA cable worked. Now we got the media player on there. That's excellent. That saves me a lot of money from having to buy an adapter. And the picture looks right. I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but it's pretty clear right off the washing machine. So. So this experiment is a success. It actually works. So I hope this is helpful. Um, I've seen, I've tried to look for some tutorials on how to do this online uh, through YouTube and I have not seen anyone uh, show you how to bake a component cable from VGA. I don't know if it's maybe because it's so easy or maybe people just don't think of that or don't want to do that. So I hope this tutorial is helpful and please uh, like and subscribe if you like. Um, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.